First, make sure that your computer is off and insert your recovery drive. Next, turn your computer on and as soon as you see the first Acer screen, tap the F2 key and your computer will load into the BIOS. You'll see a few tabs along the top of the screen. Use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move over to boot. Here you'll see a list of devices. The one you want at the top of the list is USB HDD. You can see mine here in the number 3 position. Use your arrow keys to move down and highlight it, and then tap the F6 key until it's the first thing in the list. Once you've done that, move over to the exit tab at the top, and press enter on exit saving changes. When it asks you if you want to save changes, press enter on yes. Your computer will restart and load into the recovery drive. A warning message will come up letting you know that all of your data is going to be erased. Click OK to proceed. And then in the next window, leave everything at their defaults and click OK again. It will take around 30 minutes or so to go through this part of the recovery process, depending on your computer. Once it's done, a reminder will come up letting you know to remove your USB recovery drive. Go ahead and remove it, and then click OK. Your computer will restart and go through the next part of the recovery process, which will take about another 20 or 30 minutes, depending on your computer. Once it's done, your computer will restart again, go through some more setup, and then load into Windows, where it will finish installing drivers and programs. Once everything is installed, your computer will restart and go through the final bit of the recovery process. After it completes, your computer will restart one final time and you'll be able to run through the first time Windows setup. If you have any questions, please visit our website www.acer.com.